Hey guys, Kylie here from Strata Nutrition. Today we're going to chat about something a little bit more personal. A love note, if you will, from me to you. And this is really transitioning away from here's the education, here's the teaching, here's how all of the dots connect. Here are the things that you should do. Here are the things you shouldn't do. Here are the questions to ask yourself. And instead getting into what do you need? <laughs> I know that's gonna, that's gonna feel um, abrasive to some of you because it's really challenging in general related to your health or related to personal things. It's really challenging to figure out what you need sometimes, particularly for those of you who are already in pain or uncomfortable or hurting or actually working your way through a diagnosis, gut related or not. So to be able to pinpoint what you need, it's not that easy sometimes. It's kind of one of those things that's like, it's out here a little bit. We all know those people though, right? We all have one friend. I can think of two actually, who they just seem to always know what they want. They knew where they wanted to go to school. They knew what kind of job they wanted. They knew who they wanted to marry. They knew what kind of family they wanted and they just went and did it. I want you to channel the energy of those people in your lives right now. Because what this is going to allow you to do is actually take steps forward. And this is what I mean. You each know where you want to be. We all come, we, we arrive somewhere knowing we want to go there. I don't ever have clients come into me and saying, oh, I just thought I'd reach out and see, you know, what, what can you do? I don't really know what I'm looking for. I don't really know what my goal is. No, you guys know, you know, I want to be able to go to a restaurant and not search for the bathroom. I want to be able to eat food and not vomit right afterwards. I want to not feel sick. I want to understand. I want to learn. I want to identify, you know, where you want to go. The problem the problem is identifying where you currently are. And part of identifying where you currently are means identifying what the hell do you need? <sighs> Sometimes you're not gonna be able to figure it out because there's so many other layers of the puzzle that have to fall into place or that somebody else has to help you put into place in order for you to be able to kind of see clearly. Does that make sense? Nonetheless, nonetheless, it is so important to your bottom line that you are able to identify what you need. So you might have a general starting point, like I need to understand what food I can and cannot eat. I need to understand if I do really need a gluten-free diet. I need to understand, is there something going on in my gut or not, right? Just as some, some examples. The rest of that then, you need your hand to be held. You need a little bit of education, maybe a lot of bit of education and maybe some testing. You need the professional piece then of somebody to come in, hold your hand and guide you. And part of that guiding is finishing the identification of you are here. Because like I said, you know where you wanna go. You don't need anybody to help you with that. You know where your goal is. It's just the, where are you starting? in order to be able to develop a path, the steps, the trajectory to be able to get there. Otherwise, you can't actually even choose the wrong path. There's no path, which is worse. At least if you're trying something, it's, it's like, well, the intention was there. You can't even do that. And, and why am I bothering with all of this? Why am I saying all of this? I guess it's because I'm recognizing that there are a lot of us, us, not you, us, I'm included in this, who do the same little tiny bit of thing over and over and over again. We attend a free seminar. We go to um, 
a three-day masterclass. We download the free thing and it's super helpful, right? That's why we create these things for you because it is a starting point. But that's, that's it. That's it. It's a starting point. When are you going to move past your starting point? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about the fact that you very well may have been spending the last decade or better half of a decade in the same place? It just happens that you are looking out different windows. No progress. You've not done any forward movement. You've just done different versions of the same starting point which hasn't allowed you to sort of cross that threshold, right? And that threshold is different for all of us. Hasn't allowed you to cross that threshold that actually brings forth the healing. What is that for you? What do you need? Do you need somebody to come in and hold your hand? Do you need somebody to just hold you accountable? Do you need to figure out what you need to learn in order to go past the threat. What is it? I don't know how to answer that for you. That's not what this is about, but it is about presenting the question. What do you need? And then how are you going to get it? Who are you going to ask? How are you going to bring in a new perspective for yourself? How are you going to leave the room that you're currently in and go to a new building or, or a different part of the house so that you are doing something different? Does that make sense? How long have you been doing the same thing that you have, are currently doing that is not getting you any sort of result? And I suppose that the message that's impossible to not be intertwined in this is the conversation around the fact that you deserve to be able to feel good which is which is a challenging one for a lot of us yeah even if you don't realize it it can be a really challenging subconscious thought that you do not deserve to feel well that this is just the way it is i just have to deal with it these are my genetics that's all bullshit. It really is. You do deserve to feel incredible, to be able to function in your day, feeling vibrant and free and amazing. Period. However long it takes you to get to that realization is your journey and your work. And if you're not there, you're not there. And that's okay. That's okay. Yep. Totally fine as well. It's just important that you realize once again that that might be where you are right now and that's part of what is preventing you from actually getting to the place that you're very clear about wanting to get to. And so this conversation, friends, is more about bringing an awareness to this level of the conversation and less about teaching you you know, the nitty gritty black and white kind of things that I normally am, am kind of trying to share with you. This part matters too. This is part of the work too. And it's annoying because you can't just pay somebody basically to do it for you. This is your internal job. And I'm really sorry that that is the truth of this. <laughs> Trust me, I am. Uh, however, I, I hope that this sparks and inspires something within you to really take a look at some of that stuff because it is the, it is the little tweak that you can make that's going to skyrocket everything else. So you deserve to feel amazing. Ask yourself, what is it that you need? And then figure out who is going to help you get that thing. Totally cheering for you, my friends. You deserve it.